How's your week been? Mine has been a little bit um, non-productive, I guess. I got sick, I think. I had some kind of a bug where I had a bad headache and then I was kind of achy. Just, oh, I just didn't feel good at all. And now Savannah has it or has had it. She got it after me. So we haven't really been doing a whole lot this week, but I thought I'd turn this on and talk to you because it's been like a whole week of not talking to you and I've missed you guys. Hope everything's going all right. I'm going to come down here and make some breakfast. I think I'm going to make myself some eggs this morning. That just sounds good. I know it's simple and you guys are used to seeing me make weird stuff, but sometimes you just got to have eggs. And um, so I'm going to make myself some with some cheese in it and maybe make, put it on some bread and it just sounds good to me this morning. So it got cold here again. Honestly, it is like chilly. Don't know why. It's kind of weird. We got it warm and then cool and see, I'm back in a sweatshirt. Mm-hmm. Because I don't like being cold. Savannah, that sounded pretty. Thanks. Hey. Did you guys hear that? She's a singer. Oh, okay. So, Coconut came down and greeted me like at top speed. And then he had to go out because he had been asleep all night. So, I let him out. And he raced back in here, jumped in my chair, and grabbed my egg that I just made that I told you guys about. And I went, no. And he turned over on his back like this. Maybe if I look cute, I won't get in trouble. Well, did it work? And now he's in his little hoodie. <laughs> Yeah, I put him in his hoodie. He's like, so you want to be a gangster? Every time I turn this on, they stop singing. Melson was over there dancing and singing. It was so cute. I am here just kind of relaxing. I just got done drinking my coffee and eating a birthday cake cookie. It was good too. I made hummingbird food because I saw a hummingbird outside. They're so cute. They're like this big and he was searching for food and so I had to make some. I felt so bad. I didn't know they would get here this early. It's still kind of cold out. Anyway, I wanted to just tell you some of the things that I'm hearing from some of you guys on social media is that you're really, really nervous, freaked out, scared, worried about your future. And some of you are even scared to tell your parents about it, like how you're feeling, that you don't know what you wanna do in school, you don't know what you wanna do in life, and some of you don't even wanna to go to college or university. Some of you do, and you wanna leave your job and go to university. So I'm just hearing a whole lot of mixed things but it all has to do with worry and fear about the future and what you're going to be and yeah that's a really scary thing because a lot depends on your decisions to make you feel worse but um i just wanted to tell you that i think almost everyone goes through that you're not alone and i know that sometimes we feel like oh man nobody in the world understands me and i'm the only one that feels this way and i feel so lonely and so we start filling those holes with other things to help us feel good, you know, help us feel better or bring us comfort. Things, you know, that we probably shouldn't be doing. Anyway, I don't want to get off on that rabbit trail, but what I wanted to talk to you about was your future and worrying. And I know you feel like maybe your parents won't understand or you feel you'll disappoint them if you don't talk to them straight up about how you're really feeling. And it may be that, um, you know, I almost fell there. <laughs> anyway, it may be that they may not like exactly what you're gonna what you say, but for you to be honest with them is probably one of the best things and to be honest with yourself. 
because if you get to school and you start taking classes that you're expected to take but that you don't like or a major in university that you don't like or a job you don't like whatever it is but you're scared of disappointing your family but it's not you then you're just living a lie and I think as a parent we all want our kids to be happy we all want the best for our kids at least most of us do and you have to be true to yourself what are your gifts and your goals in life and if you don't know yet it's okay it's okay not to know I didn't even know I went on to school anyway and took um, nursing I'm a nurse but I wasn't really sure that was what I wanted to do it was just what I felt comfortable doing and um, I don't know if I would take that now but anyway my point is be honest with yourself talk to your family figure out what you want to do in life and they may have some fears and they may react to it but remember it's just strictly out of fear and concern for your well-being at least it should be <laughs> anyway so I hope that helps try just to be honest with yourself because if you go to school or you go to your job or whatever and you're just living a lie you're miserable and who wants to live a life like that I wouldn't you want to be yourself and you want to find what brings you joy in life and what brings you fulfillment in life and if you just don't know yet take a break step back and say okay hang on a second I need to reevaluate my life it's okay to do that in fact you'll probably do that many times in your life and to try to decide at 18, 19, 17 years old what you're going to do for the rest of your life, that's a lot of responsibility. And you're just getting to learn who you really are in life, to be honest, because you've just come through your teenage years. You're still a kid, but you're going into being an adult and you're having more responsibilities. Ah, it's so stressful. So you hang in there and take a deep breath and try to figure out what it is you like in life not because you're worried about disappointing anyone else, okay? I hope it helps, and I hope you have a great week, and stay warm, and if you're in school, keep studying. Don't give up. I know you're burned out and you're sick of it because it's about that time of year, but keep going, okay? Love you guys. I hope you have a great week.